Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my review for Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, the new film in the Mission Impossible series, the fourth one to be exact, and the second movie in the last week that I reviewed that had a that has a very mysterious title to it. The last one was Sherlock Holmes A Game of Shadows. This means mysterious to me. And this one, of course, Ghost Protocol. Protocols that are visible. Ooh, ghosts. So this one, I couldn't wait for. I really couldn't. Mission Impossible 3 is one of my favorite action films of the last few years. I really, really love Mission Impossible 3. And first two, not so great. I mean, the first one's pretty de uh, pretty decent, I would say. Uh, but the second one's retarded, but, you know, it's fun retarded, okay? It's bad, but it's very, very fun. I mean, come on, the whole motorcycle scene, you gotta laugh at that. If you've, if you've seen Mission Impossible 2, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, anyway... I was looking forward to this one because this one was going to be directed by Brad Bird, the guy that did The Incredibles and a bunch of other Pixar films, and, you know, I couldn't wait for it. Let's talk about the story of this film. The story here follows, of course, Tom Cruise's character, Ethan Hunt, and a few of his other team members, two new ones, uh, actually, I'm sorry, one new one, Paula Patton, uh, and, of course, Simon Pegg comes back for this one, and they're uh, doing a mission, you know, they're doing spy stuff, and... They're doing spy stuff, and something bad happens, and the Kremlin, the Kremlin went crumbling, ah, see what I did there? The Kremlin went crumbling, and boom, done. Krem Krem Kremlin's gone in this universe, and uh, they get blamed. IMF get, gets blamed, which of course, IMF, Impossible Mission Force, stupid name, but uh, they get blamed, they get disavowed, and now they have to go and clear their name, because... Of course, Ethan Hunt knows who really did it. It's this Russian guy, a really bad Russian guy. I can't remember who the actor is, but you've seen him a few times. He was uh, in the original Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, and he was in that movie Abduction. Yeah, he played a Russian bad guy in that one. He plays a Russian bad guy in this one, too. Thing is, this one doesn't suck like Abduction. But anyway, that's besides the point. Anyway, they have to go and clear their name and stuff. And on the way, uh, Jeremy Runner, a new guy, gets added to the team. And he helps the team recover their, I don't know, their dignity. I don't know. Well, no, they, they pretty much unframe themselves. You know, make it, you know, so that USA doesn't get blown up by this Russian bad guy. And they pretty much don't get... Uh, called traitors. So, anyway, that's the story. Let's talk about what I really want to talk about, and that is the actors in this film. Yes, I want to talk about the, the actors, because Mission Impossible 3 was great, because it wasn't just about Tom Cruise's character, Ethan Hunt. It was about the whole team, and this one does exactly that, and everybody is so likable in this film. Ethan Hunt, uh, uh, Paula Patton's character, Jeremy Renner's character, and Simon Pegg's character, all together, they they have great chemistry. They really do, and they're all very very likable in this film, and they're all having a great time. I especially love Simon Pegg and Jeremy Renner's characters, definitely when they're together, because they spark for some reason. I love both of them. They're great in this film, and I love Jeremy Renner's character whenever he pretty much questions what, what the hell the IMF is doing, where it's just. Uh, they, they'll do the stupidest, most illogical thing, and he'll be like, he'll point it out, he'll be like, wait, that, how would that even work? It doesn't even make any sense. And they're pretty much the smart people in the audience. He, he's pretty much the smart people in the audience by saying, that doesn't even make any sense. You know, he's, he's, he's just questioning it, and of course it happens, and he's like, oh, okay. And I love whenever that happens. Uh, the action, of course, and let's get to the action. The action is amazing in this film. There's scenes that will leave your jaw dropping. There's scenes where Tom Cruise runs. That's, that's not surprising. If you uh, know Tom Cruise, he loves to run, and in this film, he runs a lot. And he's about 50 years old, and he runs pretty damn good. <laughs> I don't know if, how much was stunt doubles, but there was part where you could definitely see it was him, and he runs like a freaking cheetah. I mean, he's really... He, he runs. He, he's, he's fit. 50 years old, man. He's drinking some freaking vampire blood or something, but I don't know, man. He's, he's fit, so uh, he's, he's fit. Did I mention that? Anyway, the special effects are great. The action is exhilarating, very fun. There's just one scene where uh, Ethan Hunt, uh, Tom Cruise's character, is climbing up this huge building. I can't remember what it was called. Uh, and he's just climbing up this building. And it's very tense, even though you know nothing bad is going to happen to the character. It's still very tense when he's climbing up this uh, freaking big tower thing. 
you know, the action is just great, and the special effects are fantastic, the acting is great, the chemistry is great. I love this film. It's really, really good. I think it's a little bit better than Mission Impossible 3, in my opinion. Uh, it is better than Sherlock Holmes, like I mentioned before, Sherlock Holmes, it was better than Sherlock Holmes. It's probably the best action film of this year. So, there you go. Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol gets a 37 out of a 40. I think it's a great film. Definitely go check it out if you really want to see a new Mission Impossible film or just want to see a great action film for the holidays because it's definitely worth it. Go see it. Go. Go see it. Go see it. Go see it. Anyway, yeah. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>